In this video, we will graph the given log function on the TI-84 graphing calculator, as well as give the domain range and the equation of the vertical asymptote. Remember the graphing calculator only has common log or log base 10, as well as natural log or log base e. And therefore to graph y equals log base 1 half of x, we will have to use the change of base formula shown here below, where we'll use either the common log or natural log to graph the given function. Let's go ahead and use the natural log function. y equals log base one half of x is equal to the natural log of x divided by the natural log of one half. Before we graph this though, notice how because the log function is a basic log function in the form y equals log base b of x, we should be able to recognize the domain is x greater than zero or the open interval from zero to infinity and the range is all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the vertical asymptote is x equals zero. Let's go ahead and record this, and then we'll verify it graphically. So again, the domain is the open interval from zero to infinity. The range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the vertical asymptote is the vertical line x equals zero. And now going to the graphing calculator, the first step is to enter the function using the change of base formula. So we press y equals, we enter natural log x, close parenthesis, divided by natural log either 0 0.5 or 1 half, and then close parenthesis. To make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six. And now we have a nice graph of the function. Notice how the vertical asymptote is x equals zero. The domain is the open interval from zero to infinity. And because the graph goes up and down without any holes or breaks, the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now we need to find some key points to graph this on our own coordinate plane. And there's two ways of doing this. One way is to press zoom and then four for z decimal. Once we press z decimal, if we press the trace key, we can now scroll along the function and find convenient points. Notice if I press the right arrow, the x values increase by one tenth. So notice here we have the point 0 0.5 comma one, which would be a nice point to use to graph our function. Let's go ahead and record this. Let's record the point as one half comma one. And now we keep scrolling to find more convenient points. So notice how the horizontal intercept is the point one comma zero. Let's scroll out to x equals two. Two comma negative one is a point on the graph. Let's scroll out to three. Notice when x is three, we'd have to get a decimal approximation for y. Let's scroll to x equals four. Notice four comma negative two is another convenient point. Another way to find these convenient points would be to use the table of values. Let's also go over that. Let's first press second window for the table set. Right now the table is going to start at 4.5. Let's start at zero, enter. The change in the table is by halves or 0.5, which is fine. We want both the independent and dependent variables to be on automatic, which they are. So now if we press second graph, we can scroll down and again find convenient points to make our graph. Here's 0 0.5 comma one, one comma zero, two comma negative one, and so on. And now let's make our own graph. Let's first sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals zero. Now I'll plot these four convenient points. We have one half comma one, which is here, one comma zero, two comma negative one, and four comma negative two. So we know the graph passes through these four points and approaches the vertical asymptote. So as the x values approach zero, the function values approach infinity, as well as the vertical asymptote. And to the right, the function continues to decrease. I hope you found this helpful.